We have another NHL trade to discuss. This is a pretty significant one as well with Hampus Limholm of the Ducks on his way to Boston. Multiple pieces involved and lots of picks. We'll discuss the full package coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have another significant trade to discuss here. As you can see, I'm not my normal recording location. I'm on the road. I actually went to a, a hockey game in the QMJHL tonight, uh, checking out some prospects here between the St. John Sea Dogs and the Moncton Wildcats. So you're welcome. As soon as I head out, boom, we have news. I was just walking into the arena when the news broke on the Lindholm deal. And of course, the Drew trade happened just towards the end of the game as well. So certainly uh, a busy night when I wasn't going to be able to make Quick videos but here we go uh hampus lindholm goes from the anaheim ducks to the boston bruins along with cody curran who's basically a 32 year old minor leaguer so that's really just for contract purposes really just to kind of level things out at the uh, american league hockey league level they uh, obviously the ducks retain half of lindholm's salary as well and the boston bruins actually give up a pretty good Hall here. Now they get to move on from John Moore. So the, the Ducks take the rest of that contract. So that's a big help. They also get young defenseman Erho Vakaninen. Now Vakaninen has been a, a prospect who's been uh, trying to find a more regular spot in the Bruins lineup. Somebody we've talked about before that the Bruins appeared willing to deal for the right player coming along. Uh, they also give up their 2022 first round pick. They get a 2023 second round pick and a 2024 second round pick. So the Ducks get three real solid draft picks and a good young prospect defenseman. At the same time, like I said, they're also doing the Bruins a little bit of a favor by taking on John Moore. So to me, that's why that extra con probably that extra pick is in there is for compensation, not only for getting Lindholm, but for shedding themselves of the Moore contract. Now there's also a lot of talk and speculation out there. I know Pierre LeBron was talking about on Twitter that Lindholm is very likely are uh, going to possibly sign an extension with the Bruins. At least they're trying hard to do so. No guarantee that they actually get it done, but uh, at this point, they, they gave up what they did because they don't necessarily see Hampus Lindholm as just a rental defenseman. So if they can sign him to a longer-term contract, that would be huge for them. The left side of their blue line has been uh, certainly an area of weakness, an area they wanted to improve upon going to the playoffs. This will accomplish that. Lindholm was... Kind of the uh, the prize defenseman that has been out there on the market going into these uh, into these deadline uh, trade talks. Um, he's a real solid guy. It looks as though talks broke down with with the Ducks, and they wouldn't give him the term he was looking for. If the Bruins can capitalize on that, I don't know what the contract's going to look like, but he could be a long term fit with the Bruins. So giving up this kind of a package might seem like a lot, but if they get to keep him for you know six, seven, eight years then it's worth it. We'll see what happens, but that's the speculation on that front. Uh, now, the uh, Anaheim Ducks also trade it for Nick Delorier as well. He goes uh, to the Minnesota Wild for a mid-round pick as well. So the Wild get themselves a, uh, you know, a fourth-line grinder player, not afraid to drop the gloves, play physical. Um, you know, maybe he's not going to play a lot, but he's just an extra element there. to get a little bit of extra beef for the bottom six. So the Ducks are certainly... Big time selling mode. The Pat Verbeek era is in full effect here. Ricard Raquel is still remaining. I'm sure he'll likely be dealt as well. Um, most likely before Monday. At least that's the anticipation right now that it's going to happen. Uh, so we'll see. There's also talk when it comes to Minnesota that they may be looking at Marc-Andre Fleury. So we'll see if they want some goaltending reinforcements. No word yet if Fleury's willing or acceptable to that kind of trade or, or what have you. But that was uh, the talk earlier this evening so we'll see but Lindholm to the Bruins is a, a real good job there by Don Sweeney big payment but they signed him to an extension well worth it he's a terrific puck moving defenseman so let me know your thoughts on this trade down in the comments we'll discuss further if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe and stick around we'll keep you up to date with all the latest news rumors and analysis on all 32 NHL teams thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time